whatsoever. Eh? No business. Who no go home and have it weak. Who no hit a victory secret. Who no don't need to put on a big kit with drawers. For the man them. The man them not giving no cock a cock nothing. Who no need to give them a them a drawers. They don't need to put on for the man them. Them drawers, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Who no a them a big drawers, yeah. Mm -hmm. You see them big drawers, yeah. Yes. A them the big drawers there. Who no put on for the man. Who no doing a victory secret drawers. Eh? You tell me now. Victor's secret now, hold on. Oh no, Ross, but you have like a castle living. And yet, you don't have on drawers. And drawers that make man a slap up and a fool and up. And then I sit and make a fool up and slap up and one. And this a drawers, don't you put on? Nice, comfortable drawers. Who no did it? How we are, we are sitting. How are our drawers this? I uh? mean, by two little drawers there, you know. This are hands. Who no need to carry hands? Hands will keep on a bumbo secret. Victor's secret now keep no raw secret, boy. You understand me? You understand me? So we're, we're on a big drawers. <laughs> yes, man. We're in a big drawers. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm telling you. We're in a big drawers. <laughs> yes. I got nothing to do. Yes. Here we keep all on a secret. Because no for one who no have no secret for keeping there. As to, where, where who no behind to be going one not doing a big drawers secret drawers? You tell me now. Eh? Eh? What do you mean? Say what me I go with a bingo drawers here? This a bingo drawers here keep on the bumbo secret. Yes. Yes, man. He keep all on my little secret. Thank you, Miss Stacey. Yes, ma, what do you say? So, me ask a question. No winter, no. Yes, ma, no winter. Them my drawers, yeah? Hey, <laughs> Lord of mercy, them my drawers are making a get one rose, man. <laughs> me I tell you. I lie, you know, a bumbo tell. And them my drawers are my man, you loving one. Yes, man. Me I tell you, say, love them a nice drawers. What okay, boy, no easy. Eh? Boy, no easy, my nice ain't drawers. So, me ask a question, the winter, no? Where the hell me I doing a drawers and drawers? And, 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 pan the river, pan the bank. Eh? In a them a hoes, yeah. Eh? Where you tell me, no? Me must go put a pan the ring, a pan the bank, in a winter. Who no see how to do a cool? Eh? Boy, who no easy? Boy, you know, they are fresh up on yourself. This is called French cut. You understand me? Don't tell me something of the whole man draws. This is called French cut, you know. Mm -hmm. But you know, say, you know. I want to me say, you know, something buy the little drawers and they fit me so good, you know. It looked like me go buy one other size. Me never know. Say, so me bought it broad. But me realize, say, the drawers only reach um, 85, 95% of my body. Mm -hmm. Yes. Me have to buy me two little drawers, them. Who no lucky? So my owner wish you not have like a hands to put on. So my owner not even have two pieces of banana raw string to put on, but they two look at hands. Drawers to put on. I want to be a cook both of my little drawers. Eh? Eh? Why do you have both of my little drawers? Eh? Then, uh, then, me ask that question. Where do you have them out there? Where do you size X, X, 5X is your size? You're damn right. A size 10 a magic size. Where do people them out there will love them big drawers? Eh? Anybody out there love them big drawers? I tell you. Yes. And where, where, where the people ever love them big drawers? Because some of them out there. I go on like say. Oh no, I wear big drawers. Where the big drawers people them there? Exactly. Talk it truth. Where the big drawers people them there? Me want to know. Because some of them are rass, but you can't hold no dress string. A slingshot in a fire. Yes, man. Nice pink drawers. <laughs> Yes, man. I tell you. Yes. Nice drawers. Yeah, man. So, them a drawers when the man them a come over. The little mean man them. Yes, man. Put on. Yes, big up to King Entertainment. Yeah, man. Big, big King Entertainment. Yes, man. Go and follow King Entertainment TV. Yes. Him keep it real. Him post what you tell him for post. Him do not hard now put on nothing. Him post everything what you tell him. Not like a little bumbo mix up queen. Yes, make sure you come over here and cost me. We always cut out missing things. The man I go on, go on. Yes, you mix up, mix up Ross queen. Are you? I go and trace off your ass. Make you come. And I'll be trace off your little bumbo and still post me the same way. You know? That little girl over there still a post me upset me. I'm a cousin because I'm a post me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll tell you. She don't even pay me the mind. I'm still a post me said we are. I'm still a post me. I'm a cousin. 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 I go, next time you post my wife over there, come lick near her. I said, with one piece of me whole granny, piece of proper country. 
Yeah, I'm going to get your bomb up post one of my videos. Uh -huh. You hear me tell you? Yeah. Wang lick. Mm -hmm. No. Your poor person is going cut them up. I go and come over there. And I go and clot you with me old piece of piece of the country. What are you? I'll tell you. Uh -huh. Yeah. One clear man. What are you? I'll tell you. Uh -huh. I want that one for YouTube. Yeah, me can't big him up to him post something to me. When call blend up or something like that. So, yeah, big up to blend up. One of one name blend up. Him no bad. I'm kind of post what me say. I blend up and uh -huh. I blend up whatever. Yeah, one name blend up something. Yeah, big up yourself too. Uh -huh. I'll make a queen and lick in your blood clot with a piece of paper. Uh -huh. You. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yo, mix up. One bomb. I look me right to the old time piece Uh huh. Let me grind. Let me. Mm hmm. Yeah. Why me feel like things? Now me Let me Huh? Let me Let me you see him on the man in the street you now. You hear me? Let me tell you something. When you know a man, they may come over. Cook it too, cook it too like a fish. You cook herrings, you cook snapper. And cook two herrings, sprat to rice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Fry up two herrings, sprat. And you cook your lovely little rice and piece of your snapper fish. And cook about half a dozen herrings, sprat. Mm -hmm. And when they come over, honey. You don't have no food for eat. You don't need my fear when I lick your jaw bone and brush your teeth and put and take the cholesterol and wash out that rust. Mm -hmm. Get on. And you see? Give them a two little herring prat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And two crackers make a name that raw. And, uh -uh. and two little cup of sorrow city. Mm -hmm. They don't deserve nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. No, Baba. I'm back. Mm -hmm. Ah, I'm cold. <laughs> Hi, baby. Baby, me bumbo. Mm -hmm. Some of them not call a baby, you know. All, all, all Monday to Friday. You know that I work on a living job. No baby you know get. As soon as you know come over with the little money. Baby. You reach home yet? Mm. Baby, hi, baby. I'm coming to see you. When them Ross come to see you, you know. Mm-hmm. Them now reach until 12 o'clock. Me already tell myself from long time. Me used to have a little boyfriend back in the days that come at me. How much was a night? I said not a pussy cloth and I come here was a night. Hmm? Them there's something a booty call. The booty call nobody. Mr. Henry Ross, man, I come visit the INI. You try your best to make 6 o'clock at you. Huh? Some of them now come till how much was a night left. Not clock 12 o'clock every Ross time. I come a hot boat. You don't have no food to eat to warm up like a bickle give them. Warm up what kind of bubble bickle? Hmm? Warm up what kind of this bickle? You say if them I come from work, it's a different problem. But if them not working, eh? How the back end? What is I want to say? What is I want to go? You know, I have a woman to entertain in a desire. Like, oh, you're the power. Ah. Uh. Yeah! Um. And. Now me up till now. Them a come out who has a man in them. That I keep man them to you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come here, sir. One little man there to you know. In could have had a sleep over way back in the days. Then you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And you so come. And you come on now. Mm. But me not come from work. Um, me I tell you, you know. And come from work. And then stop by my apartment. But to me, I want to get a chat. Me I want that woman a chat to you know. But I don't know. I'm nothing solid. What me I tell you, say the boy sweet no raw sugar, you know. Yeah, um, me I tell you, me say no, da. Yeah, um, me I want a girl to talk to. Yeah, man, but it ain't what we know about each other. We like it, what we know. Mm -hmm. And me I tell you, hey, me say, me boy sweet no raw. Uh -huh. I don't know what I mean. <laughs> but me I like it because sharing business, but me I tell you, but me I tell you, because same thing, you know. Hey, me say, 
Me tengo... Me acuerdo... Me acuerdo... Ya van... A ver qué me dicen. Amén, no. It made me when me a perform. <laughs> it made me when me performing at the club. Yes, man. Mm hmm. Yes, I come. I'm telling you, anyone. Know. Okay. Anytime. Anytime, anyone. You know. Uh huh. I used to come out with performance. I used to get so nervous. Yes, man. I was such a. Oh my God, you're such a sweet man. Mm hmm. Uh huh. But me know so you're a bum buck like you want nobody. Mm hmm. Yes, man. I want a little wild man that we know. I'm too slick to Ross. He didn't sell too much. But anyway, it threw away. Uh huh. And I had clothes on. It was so nice. <laughs> what are they about you? <laughs> what are they? What are they to look up and get a girl? Who is the last of the day? I say one fine day, you know. When he meet me, you know. Me didn't dress up like a rose pussy, you know. And he meet me. So one day, <laughs> one day, he said, I stopped by my house, come check me. That's why I tried to meet one little man, you know. And you know, Marcia, she love her wig. I said, when the man meet me, the man, they see me look nice and hoppy, hoppy. So I did move in a one new place. I just move in a one new apartment. Yes, my child. I mean, moving at their new apartment. No, you know, Sam said, Oh, I'm coming to visit you one evening. I'm stopping by early from work. So, me, I can't check you. Me say, All right, no problem. Me say, Well, me, yes, Sam, I come now. Me run, gone, and whatever. Me, in the house, I promi, promi. And I go on, I go on. When the rest man come at the door. So, me, the Avan one wig. And him said to me, said, He said, I said, What's going on? I'm going to come by. I, 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 and I'm going to come by and help you to pack out the things them. Me say, no, man, because I want, I want bossy boy to, you know, nice and hot and sexy, you know. Me say, Ross, yeah. Me say, no, sir. Yeah, man. Me say, well, people, me say, when he come, you know, when the man come, me did their turn, come, me take up a piece of wig and put power and broom tick in the place. So when me take off the piece of wig and put pan a broom tick, me hear the doorbell ring. Thing at the time in a while, like a basement, me, they can be the upstairs first before me move downstairs, cause me the upstairs first, I rent upstairs, and the basement was available. So when me get the basement now, I me down the now, so me that me now move and I go down little, little, yes. And the man come visit me. And when me hear the doorbell ring, me excited and run, run upstairs, go open door. When me go open the Ross door, hear him now, no? <laughs> but how you look so different. Me say, me say, me look so different. Hear him now, no? Hear me. Where is the wig? He come down. He come down. He come down in the hole. Go see the piece of wig. Catch for the broom top. Me say. I nearly dead. Me say, embarrass me, embarrass me, embarrass me. Be shame, be shame, be shame, be shame, be shame. Me say, be shame, be shame, be shame. You don't know? Don't worry about it. Don't worry. <laughs> me, say, me say, I laugh. I never forget any of that. Me say, they broke the wig, you know? Me say, me, me fig, all me did there, dress up and fix up or whatever. The damn piece of wig catch up on the broom tick downstairs in the corner right there living room. Me say... And me said to me, say, me say, me shame, me shame, me shame. He was like, he was like, um, he said, don't worry about it, babe. Don't worry about it. Me said, one time I want to run him, you know? Me want to tell him, man, forget about the business, now. Me said, time I tell him, say, listen to me. <laughs> me see you later. Because me have to be like a pride. Me have to be like a pride. And who will dress up, you know? And take off the wig, you know? And the man could be cut off. And, and when he come, <laughs> me do a say for me. And listen to me. Me say, when he look, when he see the wig coming up on the rooftop, me say the man laugh, him laugh, him laugh, him laugh, him laugh, him laugh. Me say him laugh, him laugh, him laugh, him drop it in the coat. Me say the man laugh for me, laugh for me, laugh for me. Me say I was so upset, you know. Me, me, say, me say, listen, I'm the day laughing at people. Me want to kick him out of my house, you know. Eh? Me say, <laughs> I mean, when he's, he and, oh, that is where the wig is, on top of the broom top. Me say, him laugh, him laugh, him laugh, him laugh. Me say one time I want to go to business now. Me don't cuss up to Ross and tell Philip you know. But you me want a little help. 
You understand me? Yes, man. Me Miss let me tell you something. Enough time. Enough time we cut up a wig and go a door. Anything ever, it me no say must happen to a whole heap of people. Whole heap of people must have story like me. You are there to a man and forget to put on your wig. Yes, the man come, come visit you and you forget to put on your wig. You, you dress up nicely, but you forget. Come, listen to me. Me did it now from yes, I'm coming on me dress up, you know. And forget to slam the wig for me head. Excited. Me make him out a door. Me make him out a door a little bit too, you know. Yeah, me a turn fool in the house. I look left, right and center. And me a tell you saying, man. He laugh, he laugh, he laugh, he laugh. Me shame, me shame, me shame, me shame, me shame. Yes, I'm telling you, who, who, who that ever happened to? Any, it ever happened to nobody? We have a man friend come over, come visit you, and, and you forget your wig. Anybody ever, ever happened to you yet? Yes or no? And then start laughing for you. But anyway, he was such a gentleman. As I said, we had a good laugh about the wig. And and he helps me. He, he helped me. I mean, we got so many things done, pack out so many things. He, he, he is such a nice person. He is such a... I've been I describe it because I describe people don't know me, so I mean, I better describe him. But but I'm just saying it was it was it was a joke. It was a joke. You know, in life, you know, you met people and they're so nice, but they, you know, yes, that is so true. You, it, it, it's not it's not meant to happen. You mean I meet some nice guy in a, in a, my days. Some nice gentleman, you know, nice, decent gentleman. But sometimes in a life it's like you want a, a committed relationship. I went to work and forget my wig. You yeah, talk about that too? I see a whole heap of wig. I see a whole heap of wigs. I have a lot of wig story. Me, me need Delavan. Me need Delavan that come from Merrick Boulevard one day. And I tell you, say, no. one woman I go to work and a woman dressed like a pussy. No. And you know, you go in the Delavan and you bend. And the Delavan must have a little piece of, a piece of metal or a piece of something. And the, the, the wig take off the woman, the piece, the metal hitch and pan the woman wig, you know. And let me tell you something, you know. I couldn't keep it. I tried to keep it. I couldn't keep it. I mean, I'm supposed to laugh for the body. <laughs> but um, I, I couldn't, I couldn't keep it. I couldn't keep it. The woman, if I know me like a lady, I not tell a lie. I would have come out to Delavan and nobody take it. But you know, Delavan full of body, I rush for work a man in time. And I tell us the woman just like a pussy, and the Delavan, the piece of metal up at top, lift off the woman wig, you know. And the thing about it, the woman never braid up her hair. Underneath it look like a, any fall rose. And let me tell you something, you know. The van was kind of silent. You hear me tell you? But. I could not wall it in. I start to giggle. In a deal done. Like I try to put me on over my mouth and me like. <laughs> me say. The big laughing come out you know. With tears that run down my eye. Let me tell you something. The way my laughing come out. Because I was trying to keep it in. And then me bust out a laughing. And then the whole telephone. You know what? Because laughing is very catchy. And I start to laugh because I was trying to hold it down. I mean, most of the people them trying to hold it down. But through me a laugh, me couldn't hold it more because I am trying not to, 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 to laugh out. But you know, when you laugh, you, you, you can't hold it no more. Me say everybody in that van. I know that woman must be shame, but listen to me, lady. Me sorry. You understand me, but guess what? You're making me... Let me tell you something. It's a lesson to know. Please. You see, wig is not something to play with. Uno have to braid up on her ear. Me said the woman head look like a... When me said the woman head look like a any fall rose, like a any cutter, me said the woman head look like something no comb for several months. And the woman... The woman... The woman dressed to the tea. Uno after leave people to me. I know it happened to a lot of people. Uno people uno must take the time out and braid in her ear or wear a stocking cap. To save uno from that embarrassment. Because I know lick like this wig business, Mr. She and people on road. Cause Missy Breeze blew off wig at Jamaica Avenue, you know. Enough time don't at Jamaica Avenue, you know. 
in a, in, in, when breeze are blow hard in the winter time, you know, and, and it take when a road and girl around get them wig. I'm telling you, you, know, you see, if you not braid, if I eat for every weekend, you see, if I even go, because it's not a lot of money. It's not a lot of money to go walk into a hairdresser shop and ask them to braid back your hair for $20 or $40. Braiding back your hair for $20 or $40, put in some hair and braid, it will keep on for at least two to three weeks. Yes, the, the, the metal will draw the stocking cap. And let me tell you something. Me sorry for the one. Me couldn't keep it. I met the people them, the people them laugh, them laugh. The, all the money that drive the elephants that laugh. You see, if it was me, me not know if me could have come in a van no more. Because when me tell her, say, you know, the woman dressed to the tea, you know, me not ask, you know. She not want nice pantsuit. It come like a some big job she have or something. Me said the woman dressed to the teeth I got work. Me said the ear. And that's the reason why I'm laughing. You know? Because I'm like, oh, the hell, I would never forget it. This is about 10 years ago. This happened. But I, it's in my mind. Oh, no, I have to take the time for braiding her ear. If I even got a just I got spend $30. If I even got the African people, I got put a little tool here and braid back on her ear. I mean, I tell her, no, it will save her no embarrassment. I mean, only save her no. And 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 uno have to get some some pin. Uno have to get some ear pin and run it. Put on when in the braid in the ear. Uno have to get some 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 stocking cap. I uno have to get some ear pin and run it through the wig. Part the wig, part the wig, and take it pin them and keep it down. Else uno go in embarrassment all the while. It is very 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 important to braid back on the ear. Put on a stocking cap and put some pin in it, ear pin in it, some black one. And put it all over in our head. Some of you just go up on the road and just slam down your hair. Don't follow me, because I'm not going too far. You understand? Me just stand, because me a woman, the other day I'm up on the road and me, me pull up on one stop sign and I drag off my wig. And the, and the, man, the man start bust out laughing. Mm -hmm. I pull off my wig just right there in front of the man. <laughs> yes. I'll be the pan, be the pan, be, be, no, be, be the pan the road, me just take off my wig and fling it off. The reason why I can't do it is because I have my short hair style. I have my short hair style, so I don't worry about it. But some people here in us, some people here in us like mine, they're not. So, you don't have to, you don't have to do it. Oh, big up to my friend, man. Big up my friend, the story I'm not telling about. Big up my friend. I mean, I tell her, say, them time, they was so nice. And he will come visit me in the evening time. I met till the same was such a gentleman. And we would just we just turn on the music and just dance. We just was and that. Then they have good, good relationship, you know. Good, good man relationship, you know. When you find somebody who not run it on for sex. You understand? They just come visit you, help you out, and then come several days, several days in a row and come help me pack out. Pack out my apartment. And I and I, I mean, i I mean, we just we just lay down at the couch and just watch television and no sex. You have some good man out there, you know? Some good man. A we after me, I didn't go in there, get in something. Yeah, man. I mean, I tell us, we used to, and it was, a, and it was like, we used to, we used to, and we just play the music. I would just, I would just stand up and just dance and was. You have some good man, you know? You have some good, good, good man out there. We're not, we're not pressure you for nothing. Anytime you are date one man, and the first few days or weeks, you just have one pressure for sex. You see, as an adult, you know, you're entitled to do whatever you want to know, because a woman is feeling. Because you know, enough of we out there, we thirsty. And we want something. You just take that shit off head, yeah? And it, it, it's like when, a, when you meet a man first, it's up to you if you want to do something. It depends on how you feel. Because you can't tell a woman what you do for when you do. But it is very imperative for you to roll out. Yeah, it is. If you go on like a vacation and you want to go take one, like a one night stand or whatever. And you see one man and you say, what well, if, if you, it's up to you as an adult. You understand? Because I can't tell you what you do because I'm not no mother or no sister. And we can't whatever it is. Because some of you know, you know, say, no for you know, people, man. So, you know, I go do an half do. But if you know in our area, close, close and 
on a date somebody, it is very important for all out. Very important. Not but I jump in with him. And it, it and, and watch him. And if you had date a man and him coming over, he must, he must can't carry one orange juice can give you As some good man. If I'm supposed to can't call you, if him die supermarket, he's supposed to can't call you and say, you know, Marcia, I'm at the supermarket, especially when I have kids. You know, wonder if a man care about you know? Them supposed to come over, you know? If a man care about you know, date, you know? Them not supposed to come over with them long empty and I don't have children in the house, you know? If I even want box of chips, them supposed to care over, can't give it, you know? I, 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 I say, babes, you know, give this to your children, you know? If I even want candy, you can't be coming over to me, the woman, and you don't care something for your children, them. Some woman must look into that. And if you know them have kids on a weekend time, you, you always coming over. You're supposed to can when you go to the supermarket, you can't pick up two juice when they come over. Because you're coming over to drink the juice too. You know a real man. You understand? When you go to the supermarket, if you if you are cook if you are cook for your man all the time, him supposed in go to the supermarket to live on his own or in live somewhere else or whatever. Him supposed to can call and say, babe. I have some man out there that just want fish sweet and fish is expensive. Fish is very expensive. They must can come over want they must can buy fish and say, listen, babe, may I buy one, two, three pound of fish? You understand? May I come over? But you can't come over the house every week eating all fish so expensive. And I get crutch. I and you can't buy you can't buy one, two pound of fish and kill the woman. I mean people them there. I deal with mean people. Me rather stay by myself. I deal with the mean people. I ask Christ. I ask, I ask them. And then, you see, those are the those are the things that I look into when I'm talking to somebody. I want to see how much interest they have in me and my whole soul. I want to see if they're gonna ask me about my son, or my son doing, and whatever it is. And them the type of people, you know. But so woman, so I am telling you, if you have young children in the house and you're dating a man. I'm supposed to can't care with my box of cereal. Because I'm, I'm not only supposed to only care about you, you know. I have to care about the children, them too. So if I even two box of cereal, I can't pick up and care with your children. You understand me? And if I come in the house and I'm not interact with the pity them, it's not a good man. Because the way to impress a woman, really and truly, is really and truly is to, is to, um, interact with the children because some children as fatherless children there they need a father figure and you have to make yourself being a father figure you can't come in the house and go in a room and lock up with the man and leave a pit them the pit them are feelings though you 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 have to sit down and and and, and give the pit them a chance you understand play a little board game you know what i'm saying there's so much activities so no, so no let no man come in. No, no jumpy jumpy for no man. And let a man come in your house. And you just gone in the room, gone lock up. And your children them there. Especially the boy child with jealous and girl. Get, 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 get you know them. The man, you must stop it. You know, can't just focus on phone and pick me alone. Una, una, if you not date a woman, and you not get serious about um, um, a, a woman, you know, have to start. And they don't have a father in the family, you know, have to start playing the father role. It's not your responsibility to take care of them in, in money money situations. But you have to interact with them. You have to make them get to know you. Because kids are very jealous. You have to get them know you. So that's why we see a lot of kids don't like a man. Because and some woman they put the man first as them come in at the house, them gone in a bedroom, gone lock up and left the pit in them. They don't even ask the pit in them if they, if all them schoolwork or whole school got today. You understand? You as a man come in at the house and you said, you know, Marcia, how was your day today? Let me see what you do today. I'm, I'm, a man must show interest in your picnic first before they show interest in you. Anyway, then come. I'm telling you, you have to watch. You have to watch. 